Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Only a quick one after the last one. Um, obviously, we did break out to the upside. We were just below this breakout point here um, at 27,180. That resistance level broke. So it went pretty quickly because you can imagine that a lot of people had short trades and, and stop losses set. So obviously, probably a few stops were taken out. A pretty low volume on the weekend that can pretty quickly cause such a move quite unusual though for a weekend move but bitcoin and ethereum we talked about that they were just hitting against the ceiling all the time um, not much movement on the weekend but then now late on sunday as you would usually expect it a little bit of volatility but that was a bit unusual um, obviously a decent breakout and it could indicate that we hopefully get some movement next week yeah or, well, this week, depending on the time zone, because, I mean, it doesn't matter for, to me, I mean, <laughs> hopefully either a, either a dump after the pump or continuation to the upside, at least out of this absolutely boring range in which the price has been since middle of August. And we seem to be moving out of this range. I mean, the price now next needs to break above the end of August high. That's the next milestone, but it's certainly fairly clearly now following the white wave count. Now, that doesn't mean it has to do the five waves now. Yeah, Please do not misunderstand that. Now that the yellow wave count, I've taken it off now because it's basically invalidated. Um, now that this has been invalidated, it doesn't mean though that we have to go and form all the five waves. The mindset is important here, the attitude, the understanding. If it forms five waves, then it can be bullish. Then we are going to look for the pullback zone in the wave two. And we talked about that before. Potential long trade opportunity from here. Pullback after an uptrend. Um, if it starts to break down earlier, then it will follow through to the downside rather sooner than later in the yellow wave count. But then it did reset the B wave higher. So again, for me, it's like waiting for clarity here. We need the five waves. If it's following the white wave count, then it's now likely in the third wave here. I gave you an idea for a potential long trade in the previous videos. Um, here, this support area against which um, a long trade could have been entered. Um, short term, of course, yeah. Not a very reliable setup, but there you go. It um, followed through. And the idea is now that we are probably here in the third wave. If I go to the one hour chart, you can see that wave three could be finished at any time. I mean, it's certainly long enough. If we are looking for a target for the third wave, then it's typically the 1.618 extension level that was reached. So it can, of course, escalate a little higher. But important is now that in any pullback, if we talk about this wave four there, yeah, in a wave four, the price stays above the 50% retracement level. So that would be wave here 27,550 basically so as long as the price stays above that level it can push higher in a fifth wave with that it would complete the c wave of a larger third wave then another fourth wave and the fifth wave that could send us uh, quite uh, close to 30k after these five waves up we talked about that it could either be a b wave a high b wave after we bottomed in a on the 17th of August or a large wave one. If it's wave one, then here the ABC pullback can give us a nice um, entry point for a long trade. So it's not so you, you will not know up here if it's a B wave or a wave one. That will be identified in the pullback when it hits the defined support area that we will define then. And um, if we then see a small impulsive reaction to the upside, from the pullback zone then we are probably bullish yeah and at the moment it's like um, for me waiting for clarity here until we have the clarity i think slow accumulation is still a very reasonable strategy been talking about that for many weeks um, we also talked about that the rsi was quite bullish so we actually had that breakout i showed you that in the previous video if we go to the daily rsi i showed you that breakout point on the daily rsi which is here now it broke out that was quite a bullish move and already in the last few days we've seen um, 
that the trend line here on the um, RSI was broken as it did before when those rallies started. Yeah. And again, this time again, the daily RSI being oversold, middle of August, was a great signal that a larger uptrend is starting. So it typically is, you know, it's just an indicator. But again, this time it worked again. It's one of the best indicators. Um, mentioned that before, you still see all these ones that worked out and generated a more uh, significant rally. Either way, you know, uh, it's a bit too early to see if it's now really following through. I gave you support. You know a target. Um, either way, I hope we start to see some action here this week. And if the week starts as volatile as that in October, then hopefully we start to see some action and we'll finally get out of these boring ranges. But there are still enough possibilities for Bitcoin to form a top in a correction and then break down. But we're following through obviously now the white wave count. Yeah, that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're interested in the membership, uh, you can find the links in the description. As a gold member, you get additional short-term market updates. I think very valuable uh, when it's as volatile as it is at the moment, which is great. Um, then you get access to Discord and Telegram, the chat groups and additional educational content plus a weekly live stream. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.